So we've all heard that real estate builds wealth, but this duo is showing us how it's really done. People want to buy the block sometimes to stunt. We want to buy the block so that people can become first time home buyers. The reason you invest in real estate is not to make money. It's to save money. Say what? Yes. She doesn't spend any money. <laughs> Jay, you was that ring? Yes. You ain't tell me that. <laughs> I would have bought Jay this. What the? <laughs> you buy what you can until you can buy what you want. That's good. That's number one. Now, before we hop into today's show, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Now, let's jump into the video. Jay, tell me. Man, listen. Um... You know, I am all in the Jake's world. And uh, man, what up, Jake's family? Sarah Torre, family right there. Um, I saw you was a part of their event. Yes. And when I saw that, I was like, wait, if they're in that world and I don't know them, I need to get to know them. And so I followed, started following you for a little while. And I was like, wow, wait a minute. She's really doing some amazing stuff in a real estate game. Mm -hmm. And immediately I started to like hit you up. But I was like, nah, there's a lot of people in this space yep. that has unfortunately misled our people mm -hmm. um, as far as into deals that are wrong, uh, deals that they've lost money on. And everyone in today's day and time is an expert when it comes to real estate. For sure. And I think a lot of people are capping in that space. So I, I paused and I was just uh, following both of you all for a while. And I reached out when y'all was in the school yeah. educating young black kids mm -hmm. on real estate. Uh -huh. And I say, yo, I need Jade at the house. Yeah. I need Jade in the studio. <laughs> and Jade, do not come by yourself. <laughs> Who is that brother with you? Yes. And I need both of y'all to come in because here's the thing, man. I, my my platform is all about getting out of debt, building wealth. Sure. And then creating your own table and sitting at the head of your table. Love that. Because oftentimes in the black community, I believe we're the most creative, uh, but we don't own what we create. Sure. Love that. And I was like, man, real estate is one of the quickest way, especially people of color, mm -hmm. uh, on how we can start creating a table, generating some income to go do other things that we may want to do. And so today, I just really want to dive into how did you two meet? Because y'all's dynamic is unique. You <laughs> are very well known in Dallas, Texas, from the radio side, from hosting events, one of the most prominent names in that space. Um, I remember before knowing who you were, I remember your voice okay. when I was coming to Dallas. So I'm like, okay, cool. And then you connect with Tommy. So I want to know, how are you all building wealth? Because you have several rental co properties. Yes, I do. You're flipping homes uh, yeah. um, with him. And I've heard about that. Okay. And I've, I've just been scared to get into it. But I'm curious to know, how did you all connect? How did you all start making money? Because y'all have made multiple six figures in this whole space. But I want to go to the very beginning. Right. How did you get into it? Okay, so one, let me, let me back up because you said you're a little bit afraid to get into this space. Absolutely. I, I want to say this. Fear, it, it can be good and bad, right? Okay, okay. Um, fear can paralyze us. It can stifle us. It's, it can keep us from building the wealth that, you know, God has for us, right? Agreed. Um, on the flip side, I do think that fear in a cautious sense is good. That's so good. I, I, and the reason why I want to bring that up is because um, I am not the expert in all of this, That's right? Good. Um, I found the expert. Okay. And I found good mentorship. Okay. And I think that oftentimes in our community, um, we try to do it by ourselves yeah. because we're afraid of people because yeah. and we don't trust people. We do we not trust, trust people. people. Yeah. And don't get it twisted. Yeah. I did not trust him in that aspect when I first met For him. For real. Okay, so, so let's back up. <laughs> How do I know Tommy? So I was on the radio in Dallas for right. 19 years, yeah. and Tommy actually came in to promote an event. Okay. We clicked from then, from but one. it was more on a like mentor. Like he literally became like my life mentor, right? I got you. Um, because he is a, a you know an older gentleman that loves the Lord, mm -hmm. very genuine. Every time I was in his space, mm -hmm. and so we just kind of formed a friendship, right? Um, but over the years, I was watching what he was doing in real estate, and I'm like, hold up, bro. <laughs> now you know I ain't even gonna lie. I'm like, now hold on a second, like. You are doing some really, really big things, and I would like to tap into it. And I'm not afraid to ask for help. Okay. Right? So he told me he, it was so weird. He genuinely told me, like, all right, sis, I'm going to teach you how to do it. As soon as he told me that, Anthony, I said, oh, he a scammer. Because ain't nobody going <laughs> to just let you come in and, like, teach you. You know right. what I mean? And, like, he really took me under his wing. Wow. How many months did it take, Tommy, for me to literally, like... I mean, like, really put let my guard down. 
I was questioning. I would like everything you could possibly think. I was acting like he was my man, Anthony. Like I was asking <laughs> six him. Six to nine months. <laughs> yeah. But, but six to nine months. So, but but here's Before what I she really trusted. But here's what I understand I, about that. I understand that I hadn't earned the right yet, mm, and it's mm, a process, mm, right? Mm, so when for, so from the from just understanding people, yeah, and understanding what they go through and understanding that she's a target because more people know her than she knows them. Right. You know, you have to be guarded. Right. So I get that, right? right, right. So I didn't take it personal. Yeah, yeah. Because what I say is consistency over time was silence to critics. Mm. So let me just continue to be me mm -hmm. and let me be everything that I say I am. Right. And then one day she's going to be like, okay. Okay. And you know what? I'm going to tell you what the one thing you said to me. I don't even know if you remember this. Um, because I was questioning. Like, okay, so if I, if, I, if I do this, if I give you this money. Now, I trusted him on a personal space. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I was also watching him on a personal space. Because whenever you're a woman dealing with a man, yeah, yeah. you're wondering, is there, there going to be a motive? Correct. You're bringing me in to, like, kind of help me and teach Correct. me the game. Right. What do you want? Yeah, what do you want from this? So, yeah. again, it was a process. He told me one day... Mm because I was just like right on the edge and there was a check I needed to write. Right. He said, you know what, you don't have to. And he said, Jade, I get that you don't trust and sometimes God will put people in your life to help heal the hurt that they did not cause. Ooh. And when he said that to me. He did say that. I said, <laughs> you did, you lied. <laughs> Yo, Tommy, like, yo, right. Yeah. 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 So that was the beginning for me to be like, this man literally has been consistent. He has taught me. He has answered my questions. He didn't get offended by the questioning. And I think mm -hmm. that's what a lot of mentors need to pick up on. Mm. People don't know. Mm -hmm. And people do are used to their, like you said, you started off. There are a bunch of scammers out mm -hmm. there. There are a bunch of people that just want your money mm -hmm. and will run away with it. Yeah. If you're a good mentor and you're really good at what you do, guess what? You don't mind answering every single question until that person kind of releases, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And so, yeah, we ended up doing our first property together, which that was the biggest check I've ever had to write in my life. And even still, sitting at the table, like, I, Talk about praying. I was like, God, please don't let this man be like, you know, but I I wrote the check and I bought the property. Wow. And that is Did how. Did y'all buy the property together or was mm -mm. it your property it and mine. he was guiding you along And that the was way. the thing. I was like, this is in my name, not our name. So I'm, like, I'm looking at everything. I'm like. I have nothing to lose, but this, don't be looking like that. No, so, 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 <laughs> but that's just backwards. So, 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 like, no, why, no, no, how are you as no, the that part mentor that part profiting off of that part this that part. relationship? Like, that what part. what is the end? It goal was more about trust at first. So you was like, okay, I need I need to gain her trust. I need to gain her trust. So I said, okay, we'll put the property in your name. Mm -hmm. I'll put up all the money for the rehab. I'll bring the crews. I'll do all the intellectual property. You watch me. But at any time, it's in your name. Are you ready to transform your career in 2023? I want you to consider Bethel School of Technology, the world's only Christian online tech bootcamp. With African Americans representing just 7.9% of the tech workforce in the US, it's time to bridge that gap and create more opportunities for everyone in this booming industry. Bethel Tech is committed, and I mean this, they're committed to providing accessible, lucrative, and fulfilling tech careers for all individuals. In their comprehensive nine-month program, you'll master essential skills to kickstart your technology career today. The earning potential is crazy impressive. Indeed reports that software developers in the US earn on average about $103,000 per year. What? Choose from programs like cybersecurity and UI UX design and ignite your tech career with passion and with purpose. Forget about accumulating and racking up debt and invest just nine months to revolutionize the next nine years of your professional life. Embrace your potential with Bethel Tech and achieve your career aspirations today. Hey, visit anthonyoneal.com forward slash Bethel or click the link in today's show notes to register and take the first step towards a bright future in technology. Hey, talking about a bright future, let's get back to today's show. Now, I don't advise anybody else to do this. Right, right, right. right? Because, because I, you, you know her character. Because I know her character. You've known her for a while. Because, because 
because I I had a 19 year head start right. watching her right. through social media through the radio. She right. didn't know me. Right, right, right. right so right. I get it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I want you to know I'm not coming for nothing other than the impact that we can make together in our community. Yeah. That's all I'm interested in. Yeah, yeah. So in order to to show you that that's what I'm doing, you put it in your name. I put up the other half of the money. And she could have left. And she could have left the house, and you'd have been screwed. And I would have been screwed. Now I would have put a lien on it, but that's neither here nor there. <laughs> Up, bro. I had a backup plan. I had a backup plan. Did y'all have something in writing at least to say this is a partnership? Yes. Oh, okay, yeah. cool. So oh, you but very generic. Stuff. Very generic. It was, it, it was not the whole, Dude. we did not get lawyered up. Dude. Like you should. Right, 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 right. right? And like you said, you should. But you but had a 19-year like, head start on you, knowing, who, on she knowing who she was. You right? know where to find her. I, I, yeah, I, yeah, yeah, I know where to find her, right? And, yeah. and, and she's not that chick. I had to convince her I'm not that dude. Right. So I'm like, I'm betting on me. I'm betting on my skill set. I'm betting on what I know I can do okay. for not only for you, but in our community. You have a bigger platform than I do, yeah. right? So I need you not to use you, but to amplify my voice Absolutely. in this space. Yeah, 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 yeah. So let's partner. Wow. Yeah. So yeah. how did you feel about that, though? When you, you know, cut that check, what was going through your heart? <laughs> Anthony. <laughs> Dang. Anthony. That, that neck roll. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, I felt like it was a basketball yeah. shot. <laughs> yeah. like, okay, I have to be 100% honest. Yeah. The night before, uh -huh. now I have known this man for probably at this point <laughs> two or three years, but we're just now about to do business. Do business, together, right, which right. is a whole other right. thing. A whole other it thing. is. It is. Yeah. I don't even know if I ever told you this. You told me. Oh, I did. You told me. Drunk or something? No, no. I Googled she him. She Googled me, researching scams. I was like, I was looking up his social medias and being like, is he who he says he is? Like, okay, again, this man has been mentoring wow. me as a spiritual mentor for three years. Yeah. But I'm like, what if he been using God all three of these years? <laughs> like, I was going crazy Isn't the night before. Isn't it funny that we, we're, we think like that? That part. You know, we're, it's the... We have a lot of healing that we need we to do, do right? Do. And so it, it's bigger. And I say that all the time when people are asking me about, like, should I, you know, should I jump on the wealth of real estate team? Should mm -hmm. I do this? And I'm like, I can't tell you that. Mm -hmm. um, but we do always approach everything from a non-trusting standpoint That's because right. we, do, we have not healed from a lot of past mm -hmm. trauma, right? And I think that through this process, I learned that about myself, right? Mm -hmm. Um, so yeah, trying to write that check that night, the night before I was in panic mode and I was gotcha. trying to think, should I back out of this? Gotcha. But he mentioned something earlier that is a really big deal to me. Um, he mentioned building our community. Okay. Right. Mm -hmm. And so when I look at somebody who wants to partner with me or mentor me or a team that I want to be built on, it has to be more than just money. That's yeah, right. yeah. 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 The money will come, Anthony. Yeah. Um, but that to me was was the bigger deal. Mm. And we used to always say this thing about buying the block, right? Yep. And yep. you know, people want to buy the block sometimes to stunt. We want to buy the block so that people can become first time home buyers. Right. We want to buy the block so that we can hire minority contractors Absolutely. and be feeding those families yeah. and you know, putting money in the households of people that look like us, right? Yeah. We want to buy the block because we want to be able to have the proof. Yeah. And then I love the fact that he is duplicating himself and showing other people the game. Mm. And I think that's what everybody wants to know is like the game, but the le game legitimate, mm. right? And it doesn't have to be over your head when you're learning. It can yeah. be simple. And one thing that I always strive to him, and we do this well together, there is a really great part of real estate. There's a really great part of investing. But there is also an ugly side to yeah. it. Yes. And his motto is, what is it you about gotta, the stomach? You got to have the stomach for you this. You have to have the stomach for this yeah. because everything is not going to go right. It's not going to go right. It's not. And so, not. And, and to piggyback on what Jay is saying, Anthony, is that, like, you take some of the young contractors that we that we have impact with. Like, there's this young brother that he's, he's, a, uh, he's a licensed electrician, right? Mm -hmm. And so... Uh, he reached out to me uh, through social media. He's like, hey, man, I just need a shot. You know, I made some poor decisions in my past. Mm -hmm. I just need a shot. Wow. I'm like, okay, well, come on out. So he came out. I looked at his work from some, uh, I walked some of his previous jobs. You know, I gave him a job. He did a good job. I gave him another job. He did a good job. And then that other side showed up of why you're not winning. Mm -hmm. So I didn't kill him. Mm -hmm. I pulled him to the side and said, 
This does not have to be a hustle. Mm. God has anointed your hands in the area of being an electrician, mm. but you're looking at it as a hustle. Mm. I said, I want to teach you how to make it a business. Mm. So I helped him get his EIN. I helped him get, I helped him get his paperwork right. Right. Right? right. I said, I'm not going to pay you cash. Right. I'm going to set set your bank up yep. and I'm going to pay you this way. So now you have a track record. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So now this guy is getting government contracts and stuff. But that that's part of the ripple effect of wealth through real estate. Yeah, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Us, us not only creating our table, but holding the door open and letting other people come in Facts. and sit down Facts. and showing them the blueprint and say, man, it doesn't have to be a hustle. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, no, that, that's real, man. I that's good. I moved. I bought this house, and this house was built like in a nineteen. I want to say like the early. No, this house was built in two thousand and four. Okay, so it was old. Mm -hmm. And when I moved in, um, it's it's a big home, and it was so outdated. And the uh, your rental is off the chain, bro. Listen, but check this out. So I found this guy. I literally, it's true. Found this guy. It was a painter. He painted my house horribly. Mm -hmm. To paint this whole house, how much do you think it would have cost me? How big is the house? Uh, right at 6000 Retail, uh, inside and out, or mm -hmm. just inside? Just inside. Inside retail should have been about ten to fifteen. He charged me $1,500. Yeah. $1,500? $1, mm hmm And this is the guy that did it horribly? Horrible job. Of course. But then he recommended... You can't even buy paint. <laughs> <laughs> your, bro, your, your, paint paint your paint budget for this house is about $2,000. Absolutely. $1, he did it for $1,500. Yeah. And so, um, but then I said, hey, man, I want to knock out, because all this was not in there. Um, um, all this was was not in there. Okay. Right? And so, um, I was like, hey, bro, I need a contractor. He hit me up and said, hey, man, I know a guy. But he doesn't have the proper paperwork. Correct. But he's good. He's he good. He can do everything. He can do everything. I said, all right, man, bring him over. So he comes over. I said, all right, man, I, I want to knock out this whole wall and make my basement open mm -hmm. because I'm having my studio here. Uh -huh. I'm going to build a sink here. Da -da -da -da. Uh -huh. He was like, all right, man, I do it. Jamaican. Got mm -hmm. it. Mm -hmm. Jamaican. We got to talk about that. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody's like, why do you look at her when you say Jamaican? <laughs> We're going to talk about that. And so, man, I'm sitting here, and at the end of the job, I was like, hey, man, yo, so can you send me an invoice? He was like, oh, no, man. No, man. Pay me cash, man. Yeah. I said, well, what about cash up? Oh, no, man. Yeah. No, man. Yeah. No, man. And his wife listens to my show all the time. What's uh -huh. up, wifey? Um, and and so I was like, bro, you, we got to get you right. That part. I said, because I can't write this off legally if I'm giving you cash. That part, that part, that part. I said, so you not being legal makes Impacts me. Yeah. Yeah. And I'm like, bro, I'm the money guy. Yeah. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Like, I need yes. a, I need a. I need right. A paper trail. I need a paper trail. <laughs> yeah. I can't sit here and tell my CPA that. She, I'm like, yo, bro, I hear you. Yeah. But if we ever good. get audited, yeah. nah, bro, yeah. I, I, need, yeah. I need paper trail. Need proof. Mm -hmm. You need to put it on the company card. Yeah. You need something to go yeah. to the bank, cash out. No, no, no. So we got him licensed, man, and he does every single thing. And since he got licensed, Man, he, he, he don't have that much time for me. Yeah, but, see, but, no, no, but, but watch I this. That this but, but that's what I'm saying, <laughs> yes. Anthony. So when, when these when these people come to us, like like we, we specifically look out and we, we, we look for people that's been overlooked. Yeah. Right. We look for people that 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 have the skill set, but don't don't have the administrative Bro, skills. Listen, listen. At facts. And here's the thing that I get attacked often with my platform. Everyone knows me as the Dave Ramsey guy because I was with him for eight years. Uh -huh. So that's a very white world. Yes. Uh, it is what it is. Very white Republican world. I yes. respect it. Love you, Dave. Yeah. Um, and that's my guy. Yeah. But I'm still black. That's right. At my core. That's and right. I have no problem saying that. That's who I am. And one of the reasons why I branched out on my own is because I wanted to employ black people. Mm -hmm. So all of my employees, or I don't call them employees, I call them team members. Team members, mm -hmm. yes. Um, they're black. I have right. one white person, she's my publicist because she's a beast and she's yeah. on all my stuff. Uh, but outside of that, I feel as if, and I hate saying this because sometimes I feel as if this could also be a scam. It's like, oh, I'm doing this for the people. Yeah. I'm doing this for the black people. And I'm right. like, and I hate hearing that sometimes. I'm like, I'm doing this so my black people can see it is possible. That's it. So That's it. So uh oh, it's, and then, then I want to talk about the basis of how we're doing. Go ahead, go ahead. Yeah, it's, it's, it, you say that. So what we say is that 
We want to be proof of concept. That's it. Mm. We just want to be proof really of good. concept yeah, yeah, yeah. that that this is not a theory that was right. created in a sterile classroom. And and so when people are saying, uh, Tommy, you're posting four or five times a day. I need you to see me in the field, in the dirt. Yeah, 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 yeah. I don't need you to see me just here or from a selling from a stage yeah. of what I used to do. Yeah, yeah. I need you to see what I am doing. Yes, yes. And I am the proof that you can come from a non-real estate background. That's right. And that you can still be successful in this game. That's right. You came from the radio background. I That's right. am entertainment through and through. I did radio in college. Yeah, yeah. My first job out of radio. Wow. I mean, excuse me, my first time out of college was radio. Okay. That's all I've known for the last 20 some odd years of my life. Radio. So let's talk about the basics. Okay. Right? Yes. So a lot of my people right now who are watching, they are either getting out of debt or out of debt, just got out of debt. Mm -hmm. Okay, um, and I'm very big on making sure that before you launch anything on the business side, that your personal finances That's right. are in place. I remember, I won't say the name of the event, but it was a very, very, very well-known event. And I was on stage and I was speaking. Before me, uh, this particular person, 10,000 people in the building, and I think that's probably why I won't get invited back. Uh, <laughs> Anthony. Uh, they said, hey, man, don't worry about your personal stuff. Just rack up your business because your business doesn't impact your personal. So rack up all this stuff. Don't worry about paying it back because it can't go on your personal. That's not true. And so when I get on the stage, I'm like, hey, respectfully saying this. Yeah. And I pause. I said, that is probably the dumbest advice we can yeah. give, especially our people. Yeah. Because if you can't handle your personal, that part, your business is going to resemble what's It's going to be a mirror. Person. Absolutely. How you do one thing is how you do everything. Exactly. Yeah. And then it's like me to be a spiritual guy, if, if God has given me this resource and mm -hmm. I can't steward that well, mm -hmm. then I can't steward this well and it won't grow to be impactful. Mm -hmm. So I'm like, no, get your personal situation fixed first. So that way, when you come over to your business, you're good. One thing about me, and I always say this. The reason why I can sleep well is because I am 100% debt free on the personal side. Good for you. And the business, if the business, we know this, the business has its ups and has its downs. Mm -hmm. If I'm on a down in my business and I'm on a down personal, I am stressed, I'm depressed. Yeah. Yeah. Sure. So I want to talk about this. When you all are doing real estate, when you got yeah. into it, would you say that your personal finances on your personal side were in a good place? Yes, I was debt free. Still am. Say what? Yes. <laughs> yeah. She don't spend. What? Yes. She doesn't spend any money. <laughs> Jay, you was that free? Yes. You ain't tell me that. <laughs> I would have bought Jay this. What the? So, Come on, Anthony. Jay. So, I do, Anthony. Yes, we can get married. Don't yeah. get oh, <laughs> <like that. laughs> so, so my call to action to her was at a higher level. Okay, now you're debt free, but you're not putting you're not putting any uh, leverage on that money. It's dead money. Okay, mm -hmm. that is a that's was such a good point. Okay, mm. so you brought up Jamaican earlier. Yeah, yeah. I grew up in a Jamaican household. And right? you are half what? Ha I'm half Jamaican, half white. So. All right, white brothers. <laughs> okay, white brothers. <laughs> oh, boy. oh my God. Her dear boy. She know how to dance. <laughs> got that voice. She can cook. Love the Lord. She, she can cook. cook. No, she no, no, no. Don't. Now don't. We're not gonna tell that lie. Don't lie. Okay, I'm speaking those things. I'm not gonna be a white man was about to come for a ring. She can cook. Yeah, no. And can you cook like a black or white? That's the question. <laughs> I do not cook. Let me I do stop. Not let, like me stop let me stop. You let me are stop. Are hilarious. My white friends be like, "What you trying to say? White people can't cook? Not like black?" <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. So, um, I love that you talked about uh, you know making your money work for you because growing up in a Jamaican household, I, I was only taught to save. Right, I got you. I yep. mean, literally, it is you get your money, save, yep, save, yep, save, yep. save. Yep. So this mind shift that I had to, you know, I guess mm. it, it really kind of get used to was how you hear everybody say, make your money work for you. Right, right. Instead of working to get your money. Right, right. Now, people say that all the time, Anthony. Like, people need to stop saying that because people that are, their minds are not trained like that, it doesn't mean anything. Facts. It's Facts. like, what does that mean? Right, right, right. So, to his to his point, and I, I've heard you speak on it too, yeah. me investing mm -hmm. and being able to honestly let go. Mm -hmm. When you are taught to save money, you look at that account. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And all you want to see is that number grow. Go up, yeah, yeah. And the only way it grows is if you're depositing money because it's transactional. You are working mm -hmm. to get a check. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, now I had to write some of the biggest checks in my life. From your savings account you've been saving all these years. Which was sick to me when I saw what my savings looked like. Because, again, I just like to see the number go, go up. up. Mm -hmm. So now I felt like, dang, I'm, I, I look broke. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I'm, I wasn't. No, you're not. She was invested. I was yeah, Her absolutely. money was deployed. Yeah, yes. Yeah. yeah. And a lot of people get that confused with my message. And I'm like, no, no, no. You only need three to six months in your savings account. Outside of that, you need the rest of your money working for yourself. Yes. And I firmly believe when it comes to real estate, capitalize on real estate. That's good. So, I mean, it's like as long as you have your savings, you know, in case of emergency and personal side, yo, listen, man, if you're debt free, got savings, man, capitalize and invest your money. Go redeploy. And, 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 yeah. and here's the thing. It's going to be so confusing for you all. Oh, let me make sure I'm saying this right. Because mm -hmm. this didn't come back and bite me. I got to say this correctly. No, nah, I'm not going to say it like that. Because you know, <laughs> okay. Anthony said, no, Anthony didn't say that like that. Here's what I'm saying. A lot of you all know me because of, of my friend and mentor and, and, and friend Dave. He doesn't believe in uh, mortgages for real estate outside of your primary mortgage, where he and I do somewhat see differently, respectfully, love you, is that I do believe that you can borrow money to get an investment property, again, as long as your primary personal finances are in a good place. Now, I'm not saying go out here and be like, Tommy, have 20 houses. I'm not saying that. Mm -hmm. You got to move at the speed at at the speed of where you are currently. Yes. yes. Right. You know, don't. Ch I know one person went out there, they're debt free, but got like 15 mortgages. But then your income doesn't justify it. That part. And so as soon as five people are out of the house, now you're stressed and struggling. Sure. And so when did you know you were ready to start doing? Because you have several now, right? Yeah, I do have several. Okay. 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 So how? how when did you know you was ready to do that? Um, like you said, I was debt free. Okay. And honestly, when I purchased my first home, uh -huh. I did not go borrow money. I wrote the check cash. Shut up. Yes. Because, and I... <laughs> it's okay, so brother. Boy, uh, you, you, you are so funny. Shaba <laughs> bashi. <laughs> so hilarious. Um, and I was blessed to be able to do that. Right. Now, back to not only was I stressed because of, you know, me trying to make sure that this wasn't a scam, right. I was also stressed because it's in your mind, this is my first time doing it. What yeah. if it doesn't work out? Right. Um, but I will say after everything, you know, the transaction happened after we um, rehabbed the home and sold it. Yeah. You know, then we look. We up again. <laughs> you know what I mean? And was it like, easier the second time? It was easier the second time. And I will say this. When I got that money, I did not go spend the money. Now, I do. I got to put this out here. The hardest thing for me to do, y'all, I like bags like everybody else. Mm -hmm. I love sneakers. I love nice things. But you have got to, like, reinvest your money. Absolutely. And reinvest it immediately. Absolutely. And I think that that is a part of us living for the approval of others sometimes yep, yep. is that and then also you know this thing of you know the soft life you know and yeah. we want to reward ourselves for our hard work yeah trust me i do like i sit up sometimes and i ask god like god when am i going to be able to right. say oh yeah i'm gonna go pay cash cash for this or do this because i feel like every time i'm turning a property around i'm reinvesting the money that's so good but though. i have to look farther down the road yeah. and not for the now you know does that make sense no it makes it makes a lot of sense um how did i just go snowman how did i just go? jeez uh what did he say on um i think it was on sway his son came home and said dad man my boy just got a big old fat chain i haven't gotten a chain yet he said yeah but you got 20 properties hmm. correct you yeah. know what i'm saying yeah and, and it's like for me i had to sit back and really ask myself this i, I was talking with my friends yesterday and I was like, man, you know what? At the end of next year, I plan on paying cash for two homes um, and, and turning those into things. And now I'm I'm my philosophy is less buying because I I'm, I like nice things, too. Mm -hmm. I'm not really in the name brand stuff. I like right. cars and a home. Mm -hmm. That's where my money is. Right. But boy, I'm trying to tell you, though, when I see that savings account, and I see that compound interest coming back. Boy, I'm like, man, y'all keep having sex and making babies. <laughs> <laughs> that is that is so attractive to me when I see my money actually working for me. Yes. Because what I've learned from wealthier people is that real estate is that form of when your money is truly working for That's you. That's right. And so I want I, I want to spend some time here, Tommy, with you. I want you to walk me through the process okay. of what you did with, with Jade here. Okay. Uh, because what you've done is you've positioned this young queen to... Uh, when she does find, well, I'm sorry, when her husband does find, find her, her yeah. uh, she's coming to the table debt-free, wealthy, 
Um, and now she's a true asset. That's right. And I think that I want to know a lot, a lot of people watching. Okay, cool. Great. We hear the testimony. You all have created the authority in this space. What is the basics? What are the steps we need to be following to get there? Uh, because they, they all want to do it. And sure. I want to know, because sure. I may even want to partner sure. with you as well. Sure. Great. So what we did with, with Jade, first and foremost, is her personal finances were already on point. I mean, excellent credit score. Okay. She 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 was making multiple six figures, but she lived like she was making about eighty thousand dollars a year. For real? Yeah. Yes. So there was already a level of discipline there. There uh, a a line share of her money was already going in the savings. I just needed to put it on steroids. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Right. She was already saving, okay. but she, it was at a snail's pace. Yes. Right. So yeah. I said, hey, you, I don't have to come in and reinvent the wheel. Right. Because you already have the mentality. Let's just tweak some things and make make your money grow faster. Absolutely. And here is the ve the best vehicle that I know, Anthony, mm -hmm. which is real estate, okay. right? And so she was like, well, I already have a real estate portfolio. I said, great, let's look at it. Let's make sure we're maximizing it. Let's make sure that all of your current rents are at market value. Let's make sure that you have the best interest rates and stuff like that. Yeah. So we refinanced a couple of the properties for, wow. right, to increase the NOI, net operating income, because okay. we were able to lower uh, how much was being paid back to the bank right so we fixed we fixed that and then that created more cash flow so i said okay well now uh let's attack uh probably your largest expense being single with assets which is your taxes mm. so real estate is going to allow us to come in and compress some of those uh and and give you even more money to play with Absolutely. right so we, we 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 went and we attacked it from a tax standpoint from a tax standpoint what was like without putting too much of our personal information sure. out there well, what was like one thing that you well said? i'll just yes, keep it high know. level yeah. so so one of the things you want to do is you want to make sure that you're you're doing if you're not if you're not being uh designated as a uh, real estate professional mm -hmm. by the IRS yes right then that then your 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 write-offs and stuff can be capped mm -hmm. right mm -hmm. so there there was write-offs and stuff that she was having to carry over that she was having to leave on the table mm -hmm. well now because she's a real estate professional and the definition of that is that you spend at least 750 hours a year you know in the in the area of real estate well well now she does that okay. so she has there, there's write-offs and stuff that she can take advantage of right yeah. Tell me answer this question. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm writing all this stuff down too for sure. myself. You know what I'm saying? I I, I know how to shut up and take notes. Uh -huh. um, <laughs> I love that. Because some people will hear this and say, well, real estate professional, all I need to do is just have an LLC. No. And have an LLC about real estate. That doesn't make you and a real I estate make, professional. I can cap off with everything. No, that's not and true. And so you're saying a real estate professional is you have 750 hours. Yeah. So you have to be, if you're ever, like we talked about being audited with the uh -huh. receipts, if you're ever audited, she's going to have to be able to show that that she's spending that much time in in the industry, Right. Whether it's viewing properties, whether it's out writing contracts, whether it's whatever, she has to be able to show that, oh, right? I got you. I got yeah. You. So, okay. so because she now can do that, she's she's a sophisticated investor. There are additional write-offs that she can take. See, see, see. <laughs> Walt, put this camera on me, bro. Keep up, <laughs> keep up, Walt. Uh, no one's ever said that. Of course. You don't hear that. I know you don't. What you hear is, go get an LLC. Yeah. yeah. Call it Lady J Real Estate Investment LLC. And then, boom, you have all these write-offs in the real estate space. That's not true. See, Tommy, That's not true. see, Tommy, you all right, bro? That's not true. You all right, We flew all the way from Texas <laughs> just for that right there. Yeah. Yeah. You all right yeah. with me. <laughs> so just like, and, I, and I'll jump, I'm jumping somewhere else, just like when you hear these gurus that pitch multifamily apartments. Talk and, to and they, me. And, That's they, what they talking yeah. in the black and, people. Yeah, and, and they're talking mm -hmm. about, oh, you can you can take all this bonus depreciation, you get a negative K-1, and you can offset that against your, your earned income. That's true. Uh-huh, uh-huh. If you meet the other qualifications exactly mm -hmm. Ooh. so I like I have doctors that are investing you know six figures hundreds of thousands of dollars into some of my multifamily deals and I tell them you need to consult your CPA mm -hmm. and your 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 tax profession professional because you're gonna get a negative k1 mm -hmm. but you may or may not be able to take all these write-offs no, that's facts that's facts 
That's right. Now, I'm going to give you this, yep. but I don't want you investing because of this one thing. Mm. There are tons of benefits to invest in real estate, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. but I don't want you saying, well, I did that. I did that $500,000 investment. Now, I got this negative K-1 for $350,000, but I was told I can't offset my $1.6 million income because I'm a brain surgeon. Bro, listen. Tommy, you talk. <laughs> I'm so, serious because it's like I, I, when I was blessed to come into where 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 I'm at now, uh -huh. my CPA and my financial advisor said, "Hey, man, if you want to work with us, we're going to be very honest with you." I was like, "What's up with that? We're going to do things legally, ethically, and morally." That's right. And because of who you are, spiritually, and that's right. Extra careful about that. Good for you. So she's like, "So I'm I'm sorry. There's going to be certain things that you just can't do. You can't do because of we want to make sure that if you are audited." We want to make sure that you can go home and go to sleep yeah. and know that we've done everything correct. And I hear so many people talk about that negative K-1. I hear so many people talking about you can write off, you know, 100% of your car, like, in our spaces. And I'm like, yo, there's truth to it. Yeah. But are you following all the That's guidelines right. legally, ethically, right. and morally That's right. That's right. to do it? Anthony, and I don't I look good in orange. That. I don't look good in orange. Listen, man, I don't look good. Listen, I don't look good in orange. <laughs> I'm scared as hell as on top of orange. You put me in orange? Yeah, yeah, man, yeah. listen, so, I'm not. Mm -mm. So, so what you have to have, you have to, Scripture says, the Bible says, there's safety in a multitude of counsel. Right, mm -hmm. right. So you have to have counsel people around you that are very proficient in their area, and then you... Anthony or Jade or Tommy, you have to be the conductor. Yeah. The financial good. conductor. Yeah. So you tell the flutes when to come in, yeah. the drums when to yeah. come in, you know, so because what happens, the drum wants to play all the time. Right. The flute wants to take a slow low, right. you know, the saxophone, but you are the conductor. Yes. Right? Yes. So you sit at the head of your financial table. Yes. Yes. And you have your CPAs, you have your you have your wealth management people, you have your attorneys, you have all of these people advising you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I'm not saying you have to know what they know on the level, but you have to know that when they're giving advice, it can be true, mm. but they can be looking at it like this. Mm. That's so. Does that make sense? That makes a lot of. So, sense. can I? I, I want to ask a question though. I, and, and look, here I go putting on my radio hat. Sorry, Anthony. I know this is your show, but I do want to <laughs> take a step back because I think that sometimes we talk to people that are financially there. Like you talked about me being, you know, debt free when I started, right. but you don't have to be debt free to mm -hmm. jump into this game. Correct. Okay. You, what about the people that cannot hire an attorney? What about the people that you get what I'm saying? Because question. that to me is where the hole comes in. Um, because I know you have a lot of people that watch you that want the information, but you can't necessarily afford all of these. We're using a lot of big terms right now, right. right? So so to answer that, Jade, so in my program, from a high-level overview, mm -hmm. we provide those services, and we give you the blueprint okay. and, and the questions to ask, regardless if you're at $50,000 or you're at, you know, $2 million. My, my, okay, let me, let me give you the, the bandwidth right. of my students. Yeah. My my smallest student from an income standpoint, okay. from an annual income, is a school teacher. She makes fifty three thousand dollars a year. Mm -hmm. Okay. My biggest student uh, is an attorney that makes right at, right around two million dollars a year. Okay. And everybody in between. And let's go down to that fifty three thousand dollars school teacher. Mm hmm. Because um, I think a lot of my average person who follows me is going to be in between sixty and like eighty thousand dollars. Sure, sure. And they're probably are at about in between fifteen to twenty five, thirty thousand dollars worth of debt. Mm -hmm. Fifty three thousand dollars a year. They're not investing a lot because fifty three thousand dollars a year gross is going to be about thirty eight thousand dollars net. Mm -hmm. How are they winning? So here's how they win. The first thing they do, Anthony, is you buy what you can until you can buy what you want. That's good. That's number one. Now, when they, when you say buy, are they investing partially? Or are they buying a home? No, they, they, that, home? their first investment needs to be where they lay their head. I got you. Right? Okay. All right. All right. They, they, they need to buy, in okay. my humble opinion, because of because of, of the forced savings okay. mechanism, the, the, the appreciation that comes with it, and also uh, the write-offs. Yep. Right? Yep. So so you, when you look at your mortgage, you look at there's interest, there's a— uh, principal, mm -hmm. there's taxes, there's insurance, and yes. there's private mortgage insurance. PM. Those are the five components, right? Yep. Typically on a government mortgage. Right. Let's just say, let's just say you're, if, if their income is between 50 and 80, that's I know, FHA loan. yeah, that's the FHA loan all day. I know 
don't, Dave says, save until you get to 20%. I don't, but, no. Okay, good. I'm glad you don't. And I'll tell you why yeah. I say don't do that mm -hmm. as a mortgage professional of 25 years. Because typically, the average income increases 3 to 5% a year. A year, right. right? Right. Well, number one, you're not keeping pace with the housing market. Yeah. And you're not keeping pace with inflation. Right. So while you're trying to save, right, right. you're making us right. rich as landlords. Right, right, right. Right? right. right? right. I would much rather you, wherever you are right now, mm -hmm. be a good steward and let's start, let's stop the bleeding and let's buy right now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Right? I agree. I agree. Where we are. Right. I agree. That creates, so out of the five components on the FHA mortgage, your, your interest, your taxes, and your homeowner's insurance are write-offs. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. So 60% that makes up 100% of your mortgage you get back at the end of the year, mm. and they thank you for being a visionary. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So one of the one of the things that I say all the time, Anthony, is that we all pay a mortgage. It just may not be ours. Mm. Absolutely. Even if you're in an apartment, that's still a mortgage. That's a mortgage. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Listen, we just bought a eighteen point three million dollar two hundred unit apartment complex. That's a huge mortgage, bro. Absolutely. And I I got two hundred of my friends, right. two hundred doors uh -huh. that are gonna pay it for me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's so good. That's so good. So fifty three thousand dollars. You're saying, hey, go get a place where you lay your head. Yeah. But it's not just getting up and going to buy a place. You're also teaching them how to get the proper hours, how to yes. do it correctly so they yes. can properly write yes. it off. Yes. Let's, not let's, just lay your head. Yeah. You can lay your head there and properly write it off because it is an investment. It is an investment. It's that's, an investment. That's. I think that's the part that a lot of us are missing out on, on getting that education on, is how do you do it right and in places where you lay your head at. Yeah. Yeah. Because... I had to have someone teach me how to write this off Correct. properly. Yeah. Because, because it was like. Was this like, is a business. It is. Yeah. Which I'm sad because well, I'm going to lose some of it when we move out. Well, no, no. You know what I'm because saying? Because you're still going to keep an office. Absolutely. In here. Absolutely. So we still get to write that part. I'm going to move all the offices come down here for me now. Well, that, so it's still the same thing. Mm. Because still you're, the business, Anthony O'Neill Inc., mm -hmm, mm -hmm. is now renting from Anthony O'Neill. Yeah, 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 yeah. The yeah, individual. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Okay. So just like if me and Jade wanted to rent this, you would charge us. Well, I'm going to charge you. A <laughs> I get a discount. Nah, Jay. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, <laughs> no, I'm just no <laughs> But you see what I'm saying? So, so part of that six thousand square feet is broken out based on what the uh, what the average rent for office space in this area would be. Right. Times the square footage. Yeah. That comes off your mortgage, bro. A lot of people in. I'm, I'm curious. I'm what you think about this. And this, we're just having a good conversation. Sure. This is some educational stuff that people need to hear. Sure. And, and thank you for bringing this up. Fifty-three thousand dollars. That's thirty-eight thousand dollars net. They're drowning in debt. Already, Correct. Though. Mm -hmm. And so I know my cousin, for example, who lives in Fayetteville, North Carolina, uh -huh. home of Fort Bragg, uh -huh. second largest army base in the world, got approved for a home mortgage of ninety-nine thousand dollars, and she said, "I couldn't find nowhere I felt safe at." You said something that was so good. You said, buy what you can until you can get what you want. Yeah. What do you recommend to people who are saying, but I'm, 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 I'm ask, let me ask you this question, because you're a woman. Would you buy something that may not be exactly what you want, but to get into the process <sighs> as a woman? As a woman, yes, if it was in a space that I felt safe. I think safety is important for women. Okay, okay. I, I mean... Again, and what's, I, what's safe, though? Because, you know, some of y'all ladies be a little bit too bougie. See, y'all need to stop saying that. I'm going to say that. Though. Safe is like when I walk outside, there's not a lot of activity going on, right? I so. get you. But it may not be in the most polished neighborhood. Neither, though. Is that not safe? I mean, <sighs> polished and unsafe to me are two completely it's two different, different things. things, yeah. Yeah, like, it might not have all the bells and whistles. It might not be an open concept. It might not be, a, you know... But again, it is, we have to understand the marathon aspect and not the sprint That's aspect good. of life, That's right? Good. So in other words, it's like, I want an open concept and I want to have two separate, you know, mm. toilets in the restroom and a double vanity and the this and the that. But for right now, I may have to get me a three bed, two and a half or one and a half bath for the next two or three years. That part. To start building, understanding that this is not going to be a forever home. Because regardless, here's the thing. I'm either going to do it in my home 
that may not be exactly what I want, right, right. or I'm going to do it in an apartment complex, and I am literally, oh, yeah. you know, like, flushing my money because I'm paying somebody else. It's like you all said. I'm paying their mortgage, or I'm going to be renting from someone else. Anthony, here's how I look at it. You've made other concessions in every other area of your life. Typically, you're not on the job or the career you want. You don't have the body you want. You're probably not dating the person you want, and you, you don't, you're not driving the car. So why does it all stop at the house? Ooh. That's true. That's not that you. You, you, you better break. You oh, made other good. concessions in your life. <laughs> so now I don't I was, know if you. I don't, I don't know. I don't really like the fact you're saying you ain't dating the guy. You <laughs> it happens. You happens. dating me. You better you want me. Know, <laughs> that's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> Hey, but, you better be like, I'm settling right yeah, now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No. But, but what I'm saying is that we've made other concessions, mm. but why do we draw the line right here? Tommy, you, you know what, Tommy, you talking. That's CJ, good. come here real quick. Uh, I'm going to call my brother in. I want you to think I'm capping. <laughs> That's good. So I lived in a very nice, very nice, my first home that I built was beautiful. Uh, it, was gorgeous. it was huge. It was it was custom. Come again in the camera. I don't know how we can get him in the camera because I want the world to make sure that they know I ain't capping. You want to come on outside, CJ? Was, was, oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, CJ is my brother. Been with me about 20 years. Uh, so my first home that I built in Tennessee, gorgeous. Custom built, yeah, everything. The second home that I got, Jay, I literally walked it the night before I was going to close. Oh, wow. With Raven, my dog. Oh, wow. Uh -huh. And I almost backed out because it was in the hood. Yeah. Yeah. It, I mean, when I say the hood, the hood. No. Yeah. But it was a brand new home. Mm -hmm. Three-story rooftop balcony. Call me to play. I was the bachelor, uh, but I was the bachelor in the hood. In the hood, right? And I literally sounds like gentrification. It was a gentrification was. area, but what I'm saying across the street, grandmama coming up when I moved in the next day, I moved in. She came over, knocked on my door, and put her face on my glass <laughs> door, <laughs> said, "Can you take me down the street to get some weed and some beer?" No. Oh, you are making this up. Oh, it's a true weird. story. True story. Trap houses. Trap houses two street over. Yeah. I'm talking about they selling bodies. They selling drugs. Yeah. But my real estate agent said, this is going to be the best investment you've ever made in your life. I said, yeah, but bro. Am I going to be around it again? <laughs> exactly. I said, but bro. They were still in packages and everything. I'm talking about packages off the front door. We ordered some stuff for the studio upstairs, oh, yeah. came back home. To, I, I'm asleep. Package <laughs> gone. And so I stepped up the game, though. I mean, I got Raven, my protection dog. You know what I'm saying? I'm a black man. I, I got guns on me and everything. Yeah, I go. Yeah, yeah. And everywhere we walked, I walked around with a gun. I would definitely not suggest it for a woman. Correct. I bought that town home for right at 585. Stayed in it for nine months. Decided to come here. Sold it for 713. See? Listen, let me say this. Let me say this to you. That's the power of real estate. Yes. There is no other asset class yes. that you could have done that in. No. You can't do that in stock. No. You can't do that in crypto. No. You can't do that any other place other than this dirt. Facts. That's why I'm saying yeah. you bought what you could yes. until you could get what you want. Exactly. Now watch what you were able to do. Mm -hmm. You were able to take that money mm -hmm. and slingshot. Slingshot it. Right? right? Because because now watch this. Now let's go back to the taxes. Because that was your homestead. Yeah, yeah. There was no capital, there was no capital gains mm -hmm. on right. the on, on the delta between the acquisition yep. and the liquidation price. Right, right, right. That part. Absolutely. And I think that's the thing that a lot of people didn't a lot of people don't really understand because I was like, wait, what? We sold that house in two days. Now wait, wait a minute. Let's go back to nine months. Yeah. Tell me what other asset class, because you had already securitized it at 590, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. So the 590 was on point, right? So all, all it would do would go up. Absolutely. That's all it would do would go up. Absolutely. So it went up from 590 to 7 what? 718. 718, right? Yeah, yeah. right? So a little over 100K. Oh, a yeah. little, little over 100K in nine months. Amen. So so that investment, if we were to look at cash on cash return, yeah. that investment in nine months, right, made almost a $10,000 uh, increase. Yeah, yeah. Now watch this, Anthony. Mm. What if... The other person that had the opportunity to buy the house, because if you're at 590, then that means the income has got to be around, uh, right around three something, three to four hundred thousand. No, no, no. So about two something, depending on your debt, right? Right, DTI, right. Mm -hmm. right? So let me say this. 
What about the person that says, now, I'm going to wait a year to buy. They were going to be buying it for seven something. You get what I'm saying? No, no, but that's what we teach. Yeah. yeah. That's why I say buy what you can. Yeah. So, yeah. so even the Uber driver coming over, he was like, is it a good time? Then Jade, is yeah. this a great time to buy real estate? I said, it's all the best time to buy real estate was yesterday. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The next best time is today. Right, 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 right. But they're tripping about the interest rates right now. Let me tell why you. Why are you do. not concerned about the interest rate? Date the rate. Marry the house. <laughs> oh, shoot. I'm about to go. <laughs> <laughs> I'm with you. That was so good. Date the rate. Yes. And they, because because the rate. you can always because, because divorce we, the rate. Because we understand that interest rates oh are cyclical. God. They do this, right? Oh, my So I'm God. not caught up on that because my foundation yeah, yeah, yeah. is my finances, Anthony. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because that's on point. So now I can have a conversation with either myself or my spouse right. and say, you know what? The rates are a little higher, yeah, yeah. but the competition in the market is down. Yeah, yeah. What drives prices up, yeah. right? Supply and demand. Yeah, yeah. Right now, the, the demand is kind of waning, but the inverse effect of that is that the rates are higher. Yeah, yeah. So, babe, this is what we're going to do. Uh -huh. We're going to cut out uh, our date night every every Friday where we're on average looks like we've been spending about $150 right. per per Friday. Right, That's right. $600 a month. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, babe, so, hey, we're going to have to cut that down to once a month. Are you going to cook or we're going to take a cooking class? We'll make it fun. We'll do something else. Mm -hmm. So that $600, yep. right, that we save per month is now $7,200. Mm -hmm. So now... Uh, if we would have bought this house, two things. If we would have bought this house last year, yeah, the interest rate would have been 2% lower, sure. but the house would have been $80,000 more. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. So pick your poison. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we're going to date the rate right? because we love the house. We're going to marry the house. Right. We're getting a break on the house. Yeah. yeah. And we're going to keep our credit straight. Yep. We're going to stay in a position. And when the time strikes, when the prices go back up mm -hmm. and the interest rates go down, which is, which is going to entice mm -hmm. people to jump back in the market to buy, mm. which drives back up demand, mm. which drives back up prices, Anthony, mm. right? Mm. We're going to be already set. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So then at that point, we have one or two plays. Yep. We can jump out of this yep. and upgrade and slingshot with the delta that we made, Facts. like Anthony, yep. right? Yep. Anthony made over 100 grand in less than 12 months. Right. Where you do that at? Right. So other than real estate. Right. So we can either do that, babe, or we squat here. Mm -hmm. We suppress it. Mm -hmm. Right. We refinance with Tommy. Mm -hmm. That's a plug. We, re <laughs> <laughs> Listen, we refinance with Tommy. We, so now, babe, we re not only did we recoup the 600 that we gave up temporarily for several months. Yeah. We pick up another 200 bucks. Ooh. So now that's $800 a month that we can redeploy. That's $9,600 a year. Come on, man. So what, babe, what does that make our financial legacy look like for our kids? Yeah, yeah. If we stay the course, man, those kind of conversations. Now, Tommy, you, you, now, now you sound to talk my language. <laughs> Look, and if you need a realtor through all that, yeah, yeah, I got you. Uh, tag <laughs> it. Tag hey, it. I got the realtor. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm going to yeah. get my hour. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm going to get my, get my seven hour. Yeah. hour. Yeah. Yeah. He's yeah. going to get you right on the finance. He's going to get you right on the finance. This, yeah. this, yeah. this yeah. is exactly why I wanted John to show. Yeah. Because yeah. you now looked at him as a mentor and look at you doing, because you said something before the show, which I think I want to talk about a little bit. We got about 10 minutes. Okay. Um, you said something, said something earlier that was so good that a lot of people expect their mentors to do all the work. Yeah. Look, here, here's the thing, and especially, especially in our community, right? Yeah, yeah. If I am, so a lot of people are doing what now? They're you have to pay for programs yep, or you yep. have to pay for the mentorship, right? Exactly. Yep. Well, first of all, that normally stops the book right there because people do not want to invest in themselves. They really don't. Right? Yeah. So, um, but I think we have this mentality. If I'm paying you mm -hmm. to mentor me through a process, I want you to lay it all out there for me. Exactly. That is not what a mentor is. Come on. A mentor is to lead and guide Come and like, on. so you can have someone to bounce it off of. Like he's the expert. At the end of the day, I have people all the time to see me posting about, you know, working with him and, yeah. and doing real estate now. And they're like, oh, I would love for you to mentor me. And I have to be honest. I'm like, I'm not in a place to mentor. Facts. I am the mentee. Right. I right. am the student right, right now. Right. I don't know enough. I haven't done enough to guide you through this process. Yeah. However, you can invest in yourself. That part. Because what people People don't understand is that time is so valuable and so what you are doing is not only are you paying for his time you are paying for access you are paying for resources you are paying for information right 
Put it back on her. And so, <laughs> <laughs> and so when you're paying for all of these things and you're getting them in a one-stop shop, you're paying for that. You're going to get all that. However, right, right. you got to get your feet on the concrete. You got to work. And you have to do the work. People don't want to do the work. You have, you ha but Anthony, you have to do the work. No. Nah. Otherwise, just write a check for a house. Right. Write a check for all the rehab repairs, everything that goes into it. Right. And then y'all split it after that. Just be a passive investor. Don't be active. But see, but see I, don't, I don't like that. But I'm saying, but I'm saying no. For me. But but, but 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 you cut from a different cloth. Yeah. Because if you were passive, all of this wouldn't have happened. Exactly. So you cut from a different cloth. Yeah. yeah, yeah. But 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 we have a program for people that says, you know what, Tommy, I'm interested in learning and getting double digit returns, but I'm not trying to be at the courthouse with y'all. I'm not trying to walk uh, these stanky houses with y'all. Uh, I just want to write a check and get a check. We got something for you too. For real. Yeah. Those. I mean, and and you know what? I think. I may get in trouble when I say this. <laughs> I think those are people who got money that's not in our tax bracket. They just want to just, they don't have the time. To well, well, yeah, two things. So a lot of times in real estate, the reason you invest in real estate is not to make money. It's to save money. Mm -hmm. It's a tax strategy. Absolutely. So real estate becomes, multi, it's a multifaceted uh, strategy depending on where you are facts, facts. For, for that single mom it can be the vehicle to get you out of the hood for that corporate c-suite executive yep. it's a way to keep uncle sam out of your pocket yeah yeah yeah, yeah. No. so like i said my fifty thousand dollar person my two million dollar person their strategies are different yeah, yeah. but the answer to their problem is the same real estate yeah hey, absolutely yep. no, no i'm with you on that one uh i just know me uh my mentors love me, but I also get on the nerves too. Yeah. Because As you should. It's like I ask so many questions. As you should. Oh, Anthony, but that's so good. I, I met someone one time that was saying, uh, I, I guess he wanted to get into this space that he, you know, was very curious about and he was gonna get the opportunity to meet the guru in the space, right? right? And he said he knew he had one shot. Mm -hmm. One shot to be in the same in the, in the, you know, be in the same space as this man. Yeah. Here's what people have to understand, too. Have you done the work beforehand and are you doing some research beforehand before you approach your mentor? Because if you're asking surface level basic questions, people are not going to want to take their time with you. People want to work with people that have already put in some of the work and can ask different questions. So this is this was his philosophy. He said, I had read this man's books. Yeah, I yeah. knew the information. I just didn't know how to get to the next hump. Right. So he had 15 seconds with this man to be in, in front of him. He didn't want to just ask a basic question. Facts. He asked a question where it sparked something in this Absolutely. guy that he he wanted his attention. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. like it's like it is like dating, it right? It is, yeah. Women, we get mad all the time when a guy walks up to you with some basic line or when they text us W Y D or whatever. Yeah, yeah. Because you haven't done enough. Enough. Like you're not in debt enough. Like you're not invested in me yeah, enough. You're coming yeah. to me just like everybody else. What is making you stand out? So he right. goes up to the man and he asked him a question that was so detailed that that man stopped what he was doing. Mm -hmm. He is the goat. He is the guru in this room. Yeah. And he looked at him and he said, "I want to meet with you." Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like that mentor in that moment picked that mentee. Yeah. Because he was like. You got something different. You did the work before you came to me looking for all the answers. Like, look, and I know it takes a lot of time, but YouTube University is out there. If you're like, well, where do I get this information? Like, I've started Googling, like, I mean, I, I just ordered books, like, taxes for dummies. Like, there are certain things, tax codes I want to know, right? And just instead of me relying on everybody else, starting a business for dummies, even though I have these businesses and structures in place already, I, there's still information I do not yeah. know. Right. And it's going to take me time. It's going to take me research. But what is making you stand apart he has the class that he teaches, like all of us, like his mentees, we get on Zoom calls and, you know, we talk about different topics. Yeah. But who is standing out in the class? Who is asking the questions where it's like, I really want to take you under my wing yeah. and maybe possibly show you a little bit of special treatment yeah. because I see how bad you want it. Oftentimes, what we it's like going to therapy. What do we do? Like, we'll go to therapy on Tuesday and then... We ain't did nothing on ourselves all week all until week. next Tuesday. And you're so asking the same question. <laughs> well, it, it's yeah, the same, and I'm gl I'm glad that there's a spiritual uh, foundation to your show, Anthony. Sure. It's kind of like going to church. 
Now you go in on Sunday and you, you leave the Bible on the passenger seat again until next Sunday when you pick it back up again. Mm -hmm. So there's no growth. There's, there's, there, there's no work outside of when the, the lights are on. Mm -hmm. Right. And I can tell, right. I got 58 students. Right. I can tell right. who's doing the work. Mm -hmm. I can tell who's taking my words and repackaging them and asking, you know, the surface level questions. I was, um, I have my uh, seminary degree and I was in seminary school at Carolina Bible College. Mm. And um, our professor gave us an assignment and he said, hey, I need y'all to go read this and come back and tell me what you read. So everyone was going before me. And this is so what y'all said. Everyone's going before me. Well, the Bible says this, the Bible says this, the Bible says that. And I sat back and I said, yeah. So I raised my hand and said, I said, God, the Bible did not say this though. And I have a question about why did it say A, B, C? Uh -huh. But it didn't say this. So if it didn't say this, we really need to study why he said A, B, C. That's good. Professor looked at me and said, you're the only one who read the whole point. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And I think sometimes for us, we always look, and, and, and this is the thing that bothers me. Everyone says, well, Anthony, I want you to mentor me on how to get out of debt. Well, do you even watch my show? Correct. Like, cause that, that's, that's where it starts. Up. That's where it starts. <laughs> you need to ask. Have you me bought how. my book? Exactly. Have you read my show? Everyone's you know, saying all yeah. this stuff. Like, like, bro, just just read the basic books. Yeah. Read, listen to the podcast. Yeah. The basic stuff is there for free. That's right. What's going to get my attention is if you ask me something deeper than that. Mm -hmm. You know, and, and I love how you said that because a lot of people we don't want to invest. Mm -hmm. We hear that. Yeah, well, if I got to pay for mentor, especially the Christian people, and I hate to say this. Oh Lord Jesus. Christian folk think, well, the, the scripture's free. Uh -huh. Why do I got to pay for your mentorship? But the Bible says, buy wisdom and sell it not. That's what the word oh, says. Gosh, we about to go. <laughs> <laughs> That's what the word says. I mean, but they don't, they don't get it, man. I mean, That's what I, the word says. I think in 2022, I spent about a quarter million dollars just on personal development and personal development. Let me say this. Let me say this. So I got into the whole multifamily space mm -hmm. in in October and I called her and I said, hey, sis, I'm fixing fixing to grow us. I'm fixing to step out. So this is going to be a way to grow us. I wrote a hundred thousand dollar check for mentorship. Mm. So when I wrote the check, it wasn't betting on the guy. Yeah. Because his proof of concept already was there. Right. 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 He's already living what I want. Yeah. But but what it did, Anthony, it 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 created a currency like this. Yeah, yeah. And so when I went in that room and I joined this organist, this mastermind, one of the, an older white gentleman walked up to me and he's got to be mid 60s, maybe 70s. He goes, I don't know what you do for a living. But evidently you do it pretty damn good because I know what it costs <laughs> to get in this room. Fact. So there's a level of respect. Absolutely. Already. Absolutely. There's a level of respect already. Yeah. So so you're you're treated different. Mm -hmm. And you're seen different mm -hmm. because it says whatever your backstory is, you understand the power of investing. You understand that when mentorship compresses time frames between your now and your not yet. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Right? Yeah. So as a result of that, so from October to now, we're sitting at almost a thousand units that we've bought. Hmm. Wow. In less than a year. In less than a year. Now I've wanted to do multifamily, Anthony. Yeah. For the whole duration since I've been in the single family space, which is 15 years. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I didn't know how. I didn't have the blueprint, right? And so it just never materialized. Mm -hmm. But when I wrote that check, it had nothing to do with my mentor. It was all about me. Absolutely. Absolutely. It was about me. Me betting on the gifts and talents that God had placed in me that were not dead, but they were dormant. Hmm. But right? it was so good right now. She calls you her mentor. That's right. You have another mentor you better and then that mentor probably he does tony robbins is his mentor come on man so let me tell you something yeah. your coach better have a coach Every, everything everything here we go with scripture yeah, again yeah, 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 everything yeah, yeah, has yeah. to be subjected to something else yeah yeah, yeah. yeah so if your covering don't have a covering <gasps> that ain't your covering yeah yeah yeah, 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 yeah. no me and my me and my best friend is my pastor here pastor Stephen chandler of union church what up union uh -huh. um his pastor is chris hodges okay you know what I'm saying? So it was like every time I see him acknowledge, I see him flying out to the city. That part. I see him calling him pops. That part. I see him submitting. That part. I see him asking his his pastor, his spiritual father questions. And yes. if that pastor says no, he, he doesn't it down. do it. So, so and I'm like, yo, so let, how do we have a hard time doing that? So let me tell you something. Every woman and every man, 
Like, if you're dating, and I'm this ain't the, the, oh. what I show, I need to see who you're submitted to. Mm. See, 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 don't don't go there. Because no, if I date a woman <laughs> and she ain't submitted to her father, yeah. oh, bro, I can't rock with her. Yeah, you can't rock with her because then she ain't gonna submit to you. Heck no. So, so, so even even in a coaching, in, in, in this, in this space we're in. Right? I let my people, I'm very transparent yeah, yeah. to that to know that I have people that speak into my life yeah, yeah. in the area of real estate. Yeah, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm held accountable. So not only that when I go sit at these tables, I was in Santa Monica for four days, she's gonna get some of the stuff that I gathered. She has to. That's what I'm supposed to do. Right, 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 right. Right? Right. right. So, so, so you need you need to be submitted to somebody. I won't follow a spiritual leader that doesn't have a covering. Man, listen. Okay, I know we don't have time, but I, I do have to <laughs> ask this real quick question. So then, what is the key to finding good mentorship? You have so many people that are on Instagram, like you said, yep, like yep. they have repackaged the true experts. Yeah. Um, we're talking about writing all these checks. Everybody can't write a hundred thousand dollar check. Everybody can't write a thirty thousand dollar check. Right. How do you find, in this day and age of everybody being the guru, how do you find good, reputable, honest mentorship? Man, I think for me, and I'll let you, I'll let you close this out, Tommy. Okay. I think for me, it's about um, tasting the fruit. Mm. And when I say taste the fruit, it's it's... You may not have $100 you can invest, but you have $20 you can invest into a book and That's you right. have time. That's so right. instead of for listening to Instagram, instead of for jumping on all these shows, download a podcast. That's right. You know, and when you download a podcast, download something that you can entertain and, and you'll be able to see, listen, I'm going to try what they said just from listening to the podcast. That's right. And if it produces fruit from there, Therefore. then I'm going to go to one of their conferences. Therefore. Then I'm going to go to one of their gatherings Therefore. and one of their events. Yep. I tested y'all's fruit before I invited you onto the show. Mm. And when I, when I saw all the fruit of you all entering and then helping the kids. I was like, yo, yo let me let me get y'all here. Mm -hmm. And I think the problem is, especially within our community, one of the problems, because Tommy's gonna come back and give us something else, is we just see this and because it sounds good, we jump and we follow. That's right. Rather than saying, you know what, what does the Bible say? Try the spirit. By, by the, the spirit. spirit. That's right. Yeah. And it's like, if you don't give the spirit the opportunity to tell you yes or no, then really the problem is not the scammers. That's right. The problem it's you. Your problem. It's your lack of discernment. Exactly. It's your lack of discernment. So, so I mean, yeah. go ahead, Tom. Go ahead. So let me say this. We do a a monthly free Zoom call. Okay. That you're able to come in. Yeah. yeah. And and date me, and I date you because you may want me, I may not want you. Right. That's facts. Right. Mm -hmm. So you're able to come, and I give away so much free content mm -hmm. that if you apply that. Mm -hmm. Right, but it's it's like drinking out of a water hose because mm -hmm. it's a, at a at a ten thousand uh, 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 overview. Right, mm -hmm. I'm not gonna get granule. Yeah, until until we're in relationship. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. You're not gonna call me. Right, I'm not gonna jump on a plane with you right. until we're in relationship. Right, but I'll give you a, a, a thirty thousand uh, dollar thirty thousand foot view overview yeah. of how this stuff works. Yeah, yeah, and then you you know, God bless you. Listen, man, I, we, we got to bring them back uh, because, I mean, I'm serious. I, I think I would love to figure out what can we do to maybe, maybe I host one of your free um, Zoom calls. I would love so that. You can really understand. I would love that. And learn in space some more because, like I said, you all, I, I turn uh, 39, I'll be 40 next year. And I'm like, man, you know what, God, what is next for me? And God wisdom. is really That's shifting wisdom. for me to really help people build their own table. Yes. I was um, being interviewed for Act for a magazine. And they said, hey, man, what are you doing to build your legacy? Hmm. And at the time, I was working with a particular organization. And I said, I'm not really doing nothing to build my legacy. That part. I'm doing everything to build for them. this organization's yeah. legacy. And while I think at, cer at a certain season, you have to learn how to take your gifts to help somebody else reach their legacy and reach their dream. Absolutely. But at what point do you take your gift, your calling, your anointing, and, helps, and help yourself build your own dream for your family? And there's like three components. There's three components when it comes to building wealth. If you have the fam family perspective, which I don't think black people understand family is the number one key for, for wealth building. Number two is the intellect you know, growing people. Yeah. Right. And then three is finances and finances and last, but finances is important. Right. And they need this information. Yes. Like I love what you've done with Jade. Thank you for that. Because Jade is an example of, I have no experience in it. And now she's sitting on uh, multiple six figures yes. earned and 
just knowing her, she's gonna keep going. She, oh, she's gonna. You know what I'm saying? She's probably already thinking what's next in her head right now. Look, like, she just texted me unsolicited about a couple weeks ago. I was like, hey, hey. Uh, I got out of the gate kind of slow, but this is my goal. This is what I need to do mm -hmm. for the rest of the year. I said, okay, great. Let's customize something and mm -hmm. let's go get it. She said, great. I'm doing it. Remember that? Yeah. Send me that text. I'm like, okay. Come on. Them numbers don't scare me. Appreciate that. Them Appreciate numbers that. don't scare me. Come on. Come on. <laughs> so listen, we're going to drop all of uh, Tommy and Jay's information in today's show notes. Go check them out. Um, go check out his program. No, I'm not getting paid for you to join the program. Uh, I don't want to get paid because I want you all to do your own due diligence. Date him the way Jade, Correct. Jade uh, dated him. She, Jade, she dated him for a long time, though. Yeah, but let me say let me say this, Anthony. <laughs> yeah. Well, let me say this, Anthony. One of one of the things that I want to do, and that Jade is helping me do by platforms like this, is normalize conversations uh, around financial literacy in the black and brown communities. Mm. To normalize this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So one of the things, like you, you know, the mecca, and and I know we got to go. The the mecca in in the black community is the church and the barbershop. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. And so what I tell the guys at the barbershop all the time is I'm tired of talking about how much, how many millions LeBron got, because yeah. God didn't give me that skill set. Yeah, yeah. I'm not six eight. I don't run like a gazelle, and right. I can't jump out of a gym. Right. So I can't duplicate his wealth that way. Right, right. But, but he can't. did give me something. Exactly. That's this not, dirt. He gave us all something. Right. Yeah. He gave us all, whether it's one, three, or five talents, what Scripture says in Matthew, we all have been given a measure. Absolutely. True. But it's Ooh. up to us to grow that. Oh, man, so you start more stuff. We got <laughs> to go. We got to go. <laughs> I, people get upset when I say this, but I say, Tommy, I'm like, man, if God gave you something, and if, let's say God gave you your talent, and your talent is is capable of making a million dollars, and you're only making 50000 you're upsetting God. That's right. Yeah. And so people are like, oh, wait, wait, wait. That's right. On that note, God bless y'all. We'll see y'all. <laughs> <laughs>